Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Anna Mae and I would love if you press the red button down below to subscribe. Today's video is going to be a haul of what I've picked up for my college room this year. If you have watched my videos before, I'm in a new place. I'm in a spare room in my house because that's where I'm keeping all of my stuff. Uh, just to explain as well, I'm going to my third year and my final year of college and I'm living in student housing so I have a shared kitchen with eight other people and I have my own room and bathroom. So hopefully that kind of puts some context into what I've bought. Um, also this is my third year so some of the stuff is like just random because I have things from first and second year. I don't think it's obviously necessary to buy stuff every year but I will show you some things that are also essentials that I found um, over my last two years and yeah. I guess we'll just get started. So one of the first things I'm gonna show is this box and I got this in a local like big discount homeware kind of place but I just love the scallop pattern on it. Um, but you know these kind of boxes, you can get them in Ikea. They're, the Ikea ones are much larger but they are such a college essential. You can just keep them in different places. I use one as a laundry basket. I use one to store like extra linens. You can use it like for all of your gym stuff like thrown in because I, I don't keep it tidy so I just have all the gym stuff like thrown in there. They are so so helpful and they come in so many different colours. You can get them in a neutral colour or mine are in light pink. But I got this for holding other smaller things in my room and also because it was pretty cheap and I loved the print. But things like this are very very helpful and I have two of these but one stays at home here because I think they're really cute. To give you an idea of what kind of look I guess I'm going for in my room this year, um, I'm going for what I attempted to do in first year and failed miserably. Um, I had a pretty rough time in first year of college though, so I think that's my excuse. Um, so I'm going for navy and pink and very preppy obviously because I'm basic. So I do have a double bed or a full size bed, whatever you call it, and I will be using this gorgeous blue like navy blue gingham uh, duvet cover and I have two pillowcases with that this is something that we already had in our house um, and I was going to use it for my bed here at home but then I decided it would be better for my college room so I'm so excited to use this and really excited that I didn't have to buy a new duvet cover because that would be so unnecessary I thought I broke some storage boxes I didn't so to go with that I got this bubblegum pink throw from the same place. Actually, if you're Irish, um, I don't know what cities have them, but I'm I'm from Clare, but they have a place called Range. Does it say Range? Yeah, up here in Limerick. I'll maybe link it down below or something. Stuff is really cheap there. That's where I got a lot of this stuff, but I got this bubblegum pink throw blanket because you can never have enough throw blankets and in case any idiots uh, light indoor barbecues and set off the fire alarm and cut off the gas for two days again. So gotta have some cozy blankets. Also picked up this hopping pillowcase from Ikea. I don't know how much this is. They're not very much and I definitely have cushions that it can go over. So again, there was no need for a full cushion. But speaking of cushions, I did do a DIY, which I will link, I think it's here, or here in the cards, um, of how I DIY'd my monogram pillow. It's actually a cushion, I should say that. I did home make, I should know this. But this is how it turned out. I think it's so, so cute. So this is gonna be like obviously in the middle of my bed and I'm gonna have some more throw pillows. So it's kind of gray, pink and navy, white is the look I'm going for. But I think this turned out so, so cute. So for sheets, I decided to go for some pale pink sheets because I thought it would kind of tie in the pink a bit more and also be super cute and pink's my favorite color, so why not? But I did have to buy these because I didn't have, um, double bed sheets. I only switched over to a double bed at home uh, last year. So I got these, but I washed them already because I'm paranoid like that. And I wash my sheets before I put them on my bed because I used to work retail. So it's gross. <laughs> I would definitely suggest washing your sheets before you put them on your bed. I think most people do that anyways though. So I have purchased a few bigger items this year um, to make my room a bit more homey. Um, I always used to see people like Americans haul these from Target and I was like oh you know I didn't really care I was like oh, we can't get those like I wouldn't even try they're not like that fabulous but then I saw one and it was reduced if you're Irish you would know Shaw's and um, try your local Shaw's I will try and lift it up now it was only 12.50 it is a poof 
<laughs> we can lift it. There we go. Uh, and it's a storage poof, and it holds up to 150 kg of weight, so you can sit on it. Um, and I think it's really cool. And as well as that, I will insert a clip over me talking. I got, I think it's a rattan chair, is how you describe it. It was like 30 euro, I think, from Ikea. But thankfully, because I can drive and because my parents are lovely enough to drive me up and down to Dublin, because my dad actually works in Dublin, um, they'll be able to bring that up for me and I will just keep it and put it in my room at home when I'm done with college because I love chairs like that. So I decided to treat myself and get it. So the thing that's kind of boring but necessary is this. It's just like, it's like a floor, like a, a doormat, but it's like out of carpet. So because my room is indoors but it goes from like a lino hallway into carpet and the carpet is real nasty in my room so I've decided to put this in at the door to just make it you know a bit cleaner um, and I got this for like 250 two euro so that was pretty fab uh, again range so I guess I'm just gonna keep going with some stuff for um, range for the minute I got this mug I was in first year I went in with like six mugs and came back with one and then in second year I went in with that one mug plus a set of four but the four were like these big they were a gift and they were these big like almost like soup bowl big you know cute ones that you get in a cafe but if you try and walk down a hallway with one of those if you try and bring it from like your communal kitchen to your room you will get it all over yourself all over the floor it's terrible it like sloshes way too much so i bought this mug i'm you know you don't need that many mugs but I thought this was a cute little nautical one and then as well I got this for my cutlery and I think it's really cute and these will just go in the cabinet I have some more kitchen stuff because I think that's really important especially if you have a communal kitchen um, but funny story uh, last year like this just past year I had my knives and forks and like all of my cutlery including my cutting knives in one of those shallow Ikea like little plastic white things and it was up on a higher enough shelf and I'm just about five foot three so I like obviously couldn't see it but I would always just like reach in like find stuff and I cut my finger open uh, because there was a cutting knife in there obviously and yeah so don't do that get a little circular one so you can see them all standing up so making better decisions this year I got a new towel if you can see it has a really cute texture on it I really like it I got this in Dunn's um, and I do have some towels from previous years but one of them is like just a gross towel it was like a really cheap towel and we just need to throw it out so I got this one to replace it and I love the color and I just love it. it's really soft as well and um, so done stores if you're Irish and you know what I'm talking about um, so now I'm gonna move on to some kitchen stuff before I go back to the room stuff just because it's sitting in one of my room things so let me just grab those so to protect myself from any future kitchen accidents I've decided to get some you know kitchen storage as you saw with the thing before so I got this which is for storing like little packets so they have like instant coffee cup of soup that kind of thing in here but um I use a lot of sauces because I'm a vegetarian so I always have like rice and vegetables and a sauce that's typically what I eat in college so I got this and um, this was from all of this stuff that I'm going to show now is from TK Maxx or TJ Maxx in the US but I thought this would be perfect just to sit in uh, one of my shelves and I could store lots of little packets in here or you know if the box of like boil in the bag rice was running out I could just pop them in here and save space. So as well for cabinet storage I got one of these little cabinet shelves again from TK Maxx and it's got like little rubber protector things on the bottom and I just thought this is good for like cans of beans because I love beans and things like that again um, for general storage in my kitchen because the way I've sorted it out like with the people I've lived with the last two years is we just kind of choose like two cabinets ish and you have one for like your big stuff and then one for like your plates your knives and forks and food that's kind of how it was but I think this is really good and this could potentially even go in a fridge I just thought of that now because fridge space is um is really pretty intense trying to get yourself some fridge space um, and as well they had sorry this was rattling they had some Tupperware kind of things. This is from Nude Food Movers uh, and this is from Curver and this one I think this one's microwavable and stuff so because I'm just cooking for myself there's often leftovers and I thought this would be a good way to store them because you can't store like beans and stuff um, or 
yeah, kind of things like that, like chili. If it comes in a can, you can't store it in the can. So I thought it would be good to have some Tupperware because I actually didn't have any. So now back to the final few bedroom things. I have new slippers because they're really helpful to have if you have like a communal kitchen and you're going at night. Like when I come back from dance, I always want to have like tea or something like that. So I will walk back and it's nice to have slippers um, because you don't want to be going around in socks because that's gross. And just have in your room as well so that you're, you're not walking your shoes around the whole place, but you still have something on your feet if you prefer that. So these were really cute and these were from Duns as well. So I got a fake plant from Ikea and don't underestimate the power of fake plants. I have this in cream and it added so much to my room last year. So I'm going to have both of them this year. I also did have a real plant in my room, but that was like way too much maintenance over Christmas and stuff. I just had to kind of let it die and then revive it. So um, this, I don't know how much they are, but it's super cute and it's pink and I love pink. So yeah, a fake plant adds a lot to a room and I would definitely suggest getting one if you can. Again, from Range, I got this little storage thing. I was kind of looking for a pen pot actually, but I thought this would kind of double as a pen pot and I could hold other things in it. And I love this like quatrefoil kind of print and yes, obsessed with this. So excited to use this and set up my desk nicely and everything. My second to last thing is this big storage bin kind of thing from TK Maxx with hot pink pom-pom detailing. My mom actually convinced me to get this. I wasn't so sure. And um, I was like, you know, do I really need it? Like it wasn't expensive, but like I didn't need to unnecessarily buy it, you know, if I wasn't gonna use it. But she was like, no, you're definitely gonna use it. Like and you really like it and I have no regrets. I'm so glad she made me get it because I think it is so cute and it is actually gonna be so, so useful because you need a lot of storage bins for college. That's what I've kind of figured out. I use a lot of just like general storage bins and stuff. So the last thing I'm gonna be showing for my college room haul this year is a humidifier. And you might be wondering, why do you have a humidifier? But it's good for your skin and I like using essential oils. So I thought that I would get one of these because I always, if you know the shop Muji, I'd always walk past Muji and just love the humidifiers. And um, humidity I found is very good for my skin. I have quite bad acne. So um, I thought like, why not give it a go? And this was like 12 euro on Amazon. So I will try and link it down below if I can. It holds about 100 milliliters of um, water and then you just put in I think it's like a drop to two drops of your chosen essential oil. To be honest, I have put in a bit more than that. And it actually, it's not plugged in right now, obviously, but it has like a light function. It lights up all different colors or it will like change colors and you can have it on constant or it switches on and off every 30 seconds. So I would definitely suggest this. I've been using it here in my room at home and I love it. So I had to just like run and plug it out for this video. I had to take out the water as well. But I think having a humidifier will make the atmosphere in your room really nice. I would definitely suggest having some sort of an air freshener if this is like your first year going into college. Some sort of an air freshener definitely helps because when you spend a lot of time in a room and it maybe if you eat there even occasionally or even just having like cups of tea and stuff in there, it'll just end up getting gross. So I would definitely suggest some sort of an air freshener. So that is it for my college room haul for this year. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing a part two of this because I don't really need to buy anything else, but I will be doing probably a move-in video and as well as that, if you haven't checked out how I DIY'd that monogram cushion, I think it's up here, uh, definitely check that out. If you enjoyed, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from me and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.